Yes, it's true, the winds of winter and a dream of spring could actually arrive in our hands and we could actually finally have the end and the conclusion of a song in Ice and Fire. And the one thing that needs to happen for the winds of winter and a dream of spring to be finished, printed, and in our hands is... Hello to all of my Game of Thrones, Song of Ice and Fire fans. Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. Before we get into our video today, I would like to ask you all to please consider subscribing to this channel. We are on our way to 10,000 subscribers. This has been an amazing journey for me and it's been an amazing journey also for all of the viewers that have been with me since the beginning. It's a great community and I would really love to have you. If you're looking for a shout out next video, just let me know that you either subscribed, liked and shared, or if you're already a subscriber and would like a shout out next video, just let me know that you liked and shared this video. And if you're looking for a very special shout out in occasional videos that we've been posting lately, we've been playing the random quote game. So the way this works is throughout the video, you will find four random quotes. If you can correctly identify those four random quotes in the comments, you will get a very special shout out next video. Now I'm gonna give you a hint because this is a Game of Thrones related video. All of the quotes today will be related to Game of Thrones. Make sure you're watching until the end of the video so you can get all those quotes. So we posted a video talking about why no one cares about A Song of Ice and Fire and Game of Thrones anymore. And I realized by reading the comments on that video that it's not so much that people don't care. I just think that they're fed up and they're angry. People do still, in a way, care about Game of Thrones, cautiously, mind you. And if Winds of Winter and Dream of Spring eventually do come out, well, yes, people will buy it and people will read it, myself included. My brother has a sword and I have my mind. And a mind needs books like a sword needs a whetstone. And that, Jon Snow is why I read so much. Now I'm one of those people that constantly keeps up to date with what George R.R. R. Martin is doing and the his possible publishing schedule. And I'm keeping up with the news on the progression of the Winds of Winter's writing. And I'm telling you, it is not looking good. But this is a video talking about what needs to happen for those books to be published because I do believe that they can be published and there is one thing that needs to happen for these books to get finished. So let's just put it this way. My hopes for George R. R. Martin finishing this series at this point are not very high. Uh, and it's not only because, you know, the, the number one criticism that people give George is, you know, he's old. What if he dies before he, he finishes his, these books? And I, I just think that's, that's terrible to say that about someone. I mean, I, I think he's got many years left and, and he has a, still a, quite, a, quite a heck of a writing career ahead of him. Well, I find that question you know, pretty offensive, frankly, when people start yeah. speculating about my death and my health. So yeah, yeah. fuck you to those people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I think the main thing that is preventing George from finishing these books is all of the distractions. Yes, George R.R. R. Martin is a notorious procrastinator, but he has so many distractions and he just needs to learn to say this one simple word, and that is no. George, just say no. Lancel Lannister, what a stupid name. Who named you some half-wit with a stutter? <laughs> Heck, this weekend, a new video game called Elden Ring was just announced, and George R. R. Martin is the writer for this video game. Yeah, this video game looks really, really cool, and it's slated for January 2022 release, and heck, I may be one of those people who even buys it and plays it, and likely I will love it just because I am a big fan of this genre. But when I saw that, I have to say that I was a little bit upset and frustrated because the first thing I thought was, oh, here is George doing something other than writing the winds of winter again. Like, how many distractions does this guy have to engage in before he actually finishes his book? And I'm at a point now where I think he just won't finish it because of all these distractions. And it's not that he's doing this to make a heck of a lot more money. No, I don't think it has anything to do with that because if he were to finish The Winds of Winter and A Dream of Spring, he would have the cash rolling in. And to be honest, this guy's worth quite a bit 
already. Like this guy literally could finish say, writing and say tomorrow that I retire and he would be fine for the rest of his life. But I think the problem lies in the fact that I really think that George R. R. Martin has lost passion for this project. Let's take a look at his writing schedule. So Game of Thrones came, came out. Then two years later, we had A Clash of Kings. I think two to three years later, Storm of Swords came out. Then 2005, Feast for Crows came out. He published the first four books in the series rather quickly. And that you can kind of attribute to the fact that, yeah, he was younger, but I think the main a uh, factor here in his the speed at which he was writing is the fact that he was genuinely passionate about the project. Then between Feast for Crows and A Dance with Dragons, you're seeing quite a bit more years. So I think he's starting to lose steam there. And now between A Dance with Dragons and Winds of Winter is the longest period he has gone without publishing a Song of Ice and Fire book. And uh, it, it, fans are just beyond frustrated. Now, the other factor I think that's involved here is uh, that he, he's written himself in a corner. And I think it was not a good idea to have so much story building, so many plots, so many characters. Because now he, I don't think he really knows where to take the story. With that all in mind, I mean, being George R. R. Martin right now, trying to finish... A Song of Ice and Fire must be super, super frustrating. So he's now engaging himself in other things to reignite his passions and to keep him interested and keep him wanting to write. Because we all know he's not interested in writing Game of Thrones anymore. He's not interested in finishing A Song of Ice and Fire because I honestly think he's just over it. But I think there is still hope. There is one shining beacon that could possibly happen that I really hope does happen because that would mean we would get the end of Song of Ice and Fire much, much quicker. And the thing that needs to happen for these books to get published is for George R. R. Martin to just commission someone else to finish the series for him. Doesn't mean he doesn't have to be involved in, in the plotting of the book or anything like that. He just needs somebody else to write it for him. He could collab with the writer. And the man that I think is just right for the job is Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman is a solid writer. He's probably one of the best writers of our time. He's super geek extraordinaire, just like George R. R. Martin. Neil Gaiman has had amazing comic books. He's known for the Sandman. And he has some of the best novels that I've ever read. Coraline, American Gods, Norse mythology. Like the, the guy has quite the heck of a resume. And on top of that, George R. R. Martin and Neil Gaiman, from what I understand, are pretty close. They're really good friends, and I think that they would work really well together. So I said to myself, why not just commission Neil Gaiman to finish the Song of Ice and Fire series? I feel he would do just a, as great of a job writing and completing this book. And we all know that George would be helping him and guiding him along, and his input would be in there too. So I really think it's about time that George R.R. R. Martin thinks about just contracting the writing of these no novels out, commissioning someone else to do it. Either Neil Gaiman or Patrick Rothfuss? No, I'm kidding. Patrick Rothfuss is probably even worse than George R.R. R. Martin when it comes to releasing books. He still has yet to release his third book in his series, and whoa, I don't know what's going on there either. But that's for another video. I think I'll take two chickens. I think I'm gonna have to eat every fucking chicken that's in this room. So tell me what you all think. I would really love to hear from you all. Now, this isn't confirmed. This isn't even speculation. This is just something that I think would need to happen in order for these books to get finished in a timely manner because it's clear that George just ha doesn't have the steam to finish these books. And I totally understand. His passion is probably gone for the project and he wants to move on to other things, but he has that huge elephant in the room which is Winds of Winter that continues to bog him down. And I have to tell you, it's not going away, George, so you might as well just get Mr. Gaiman, get Neil Gaiman to finish these books for you. But first, a toast. No more of that Dornish horse piss. This is the finest arbor gold. Proper wine for proper heroes. So do you think that's a good idea, or do you think something else needs to happen in order for these books to finally get completed. Again, would love to hear from you all in the comments. And as always, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.